Looking to have some cosmetic dentistry done? Well, here's a great subject that you won't want to miss. Enjoy. Well, hello again, folks, and welcome back to another Dentistry Made Simple video. My name is Dr. Kenneth Goods, and I'm a retired dentist from the state of South Carolina here in the U.S. So it's time for another installment where I discuss a topic that I discovered and give you my feedback. I'm not sure what number of video this is, but it really doesn't matter. So today's topic, which was in the form of a Vine video, comes from Dr. David Rice with Dentistry IQ, who lists 15 questions that you should ask your cosmetic dentist before beginning treatment. Let's jump right in, as we have a bit of ground to cover. Question one. Where did you receive your advanced training? Look, with rare exceptions, every dentist considers themselves a cosmetic dentist because we're all trying to make our dentistry look natural, lifelike, and beautiful. But here's where the difference comes in. Dental school does not count as advanced training. It just doesn't. Now there are weekend courses where dentists go to learn the basics, and then there are advanced training institutions where dentists spend multiple weeks over multiple months, not to mention spending multiple thousands of dollars working on live patients under the supervision of some of our finest clinicians in the profession. I've attended a couple of these institutions, and you'll want your cosmetic dentist to have as well. Question two, how many hours? Well, this goes hand in hand with question number one. If your dentist has trained at one of these institutions, then you're looking at hundreds of hours of intense education. That's what you wanna hear. Question three, in what specific areas? Now look, I'm not gonna overwhelm you with a bunch of dental jargon, but you wanna hear terms like golden proportion, smile design, occlusion and such. This will let you know that your dentist has learned the foundations to creating beautiful smiles. You may not understand everything that you'll hear, but it's still a good idea to ask. Question four, how many procedures of this type have you performed? So granted, every dentist has to start somewhere with their very first cosmetic patient, but you don't really want it to be you necessarily. Again, receiving training at one of these institutions ensures that your dentist has the experience that you're looking for. Question five, how long have they lasted? An excellent question. Obviously, the longer the better. This one is pretty obvious. We want to hear many years as our answer. Question six, do you have any before and afters? This is crucial. Every cosmetic dentist will take photos of their work. They want you to see their accomplishments. So have a look for yourself. How did the finished product turn out? Does it look natural or fake? Judge for yourself. Question seven, do you have any patient testimonials? You know, arguably this might be even more important than photos because you'll get to hear directly how the patient felt about the end result how this new smile made them feel about themselves and their self-esteem. Very powerful and motivating. Question eight, do you have any doctor testimonials? There is no greater compliment for a professional than the admiration of their peers. And dentistry is no exception. Have patients been referred to them from other dentists? Are dentists themselves coming to have their cosmetic dentistry performed? Now, don't be too disappointed if the answer is no to this question, <laughs> but if the answer is yes, then you're probably in the right practice. Question nine, what can I expect for me? This is another great question. Photos and testimonials are awesome, but at the end of the day, you're concerned about your mouth and your end result. How will this dentistry solve the issues that you want to correct? Question 10, how many appointments do you expect this will take? Now, obviously I can't give you a specific number here because everyone's situation is different. But remember, excellent cosmetic dentistry starts with a plan. The doctor should find out from you what your expectations are. Then there is record gathering, which will include photos and models of your mouth. There are the fine tune adjustments that are made along the way. 
all before getting to the finished product. This is going to take time, folks. If you hear that you'll be done in two visits, then keep looking. Question 11, how long will they last? Well, as with question five, the longer the better. With proper care and faithful dental visits on your part, you should get many years of service with good cosmetic dentistry. Question 12, what can I expect when I'm in temporaries? So depending on how much work you're having, you're gonna end up having temporary restorations on your teeth. It's very common to have eating restrictions placed on you, some possible sensitivity may occur, and there'll be a period of time where these temporaries might feel strange. Your bite may have been opened up and your teeth may be longer than what you've been used to, things like that. Knowing what to expect ahead of time gives you great peace of mind. Question 13, any restrictions? Well, I'll answer this one for you right now. Yes, hard foods like nuts will likely be off limits. Biting into an apple may not be recommended anymore. Certain beverages could find themselves on the do not drink list and so on. Again, this is all normal, so don't be overly concerned. Question 14, do you have pictures of the temporaries? Although this is another excellent question, it's not very common to find a doctor who has photos of their temporaries, so you might not be too successful with this one. But beautiful temporaries indicate an attention to detail that should carry over into beautiful final restorations. And lastly, question 15, how long do I need to recover? Perhaps you need to have teeth removed in order to create space for your new smile. Or maybe you need root canals to allow for proper shaping of the teeth. Or you might experience some sensitivity from all of the different procedures. Knowing all this going in is going to put your mind at ease, relieving you of the worry that things may have gone wrong. An informed patient is a happy patient. Well, there you have it. I want to congratulate Dr. David Rice again for a very informative video. These are all fantastic questions that you should be aware of. Excellent cosmetic dentistry has truly changed people's lives. And if you're looking to experience this for yourself, then keep these questions in mind to make sure your dentist is the best one for you. Well, let's wrap up today's video, folks. I hope you learned something that you didn't know before. If you enjoyed this video, would you do me the favor of hitting that like button below as it will help this channel grow? Feel free to leave a comment or question as well. Please consider subscribing and be sure to hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos on dentistry made simple. Bye-bye.